So let's start with that Amore one because it is really pretty. Um, it's just a really modern look at a heart, I think. Now, I've just took some white cardstock and I've got one of those pages from the, and I think there's still three for two on the website. Um, the papers that I'm using uh, is the, and I'll just bring in my middle papers as well. Oh, can't seem to grab them. There we go. I'm just going to bring in that Dipsy floral that we had uh, and the rainbow pack that goes with them. So I'm actually using that piece of card. Uh, you can get two out of one sheet of your 12 by 12. So okay. I've literally cut it in half, scored it in half, and I've got myself a six by six card blank. And then I took the beautiful papers and I've already matte and layered them onto some white card stock. So we'll pop that to the side. So I'm going to cut this out of white and I'm going to cut it out of my card. Now, the whole point of a creator card is the fact uh, that you can uh, cut it out directly out of the front of your card here. So what I want to do is we're going to place this onto our card. Now, what you'll be able to see from the die itself, we haven't got a straight up and down edge on this one. Okay. So you can see your heart, it's a bit of a quirky heart. So if you was to do it straight, you would have sort of a a sort of a ski oh, yeah. whiff heart. Uh, you could have that if you wanted to, but we want to keep it fairly straight. So we're going to pop bars to the side here. And I'm literally making sure I cut right up to the edge of my cardstock. So we're literally just making sure I'm just doing it so this piece is straight here and my heart is sort of fairly uh, upright. And I'm just leaving the same amount of gap each side. I'm not worried that it doesn't cut to the end of my card because I can snip into that. If you wanted to get exactly right, just take a quarter of an inch off your card okay. and then it will snip to the ends of that. Uh, what I am going to do is use some low tack tape. You do want to use these to keep them in place. Don't take a risk for them moving, uh, especially with your card blank. I know you've only wasted your piece of card, but don't waste it if you don't need to. And then we're just going to pop that through. Uh, all these dies, Craig, will fit on your junior, your Gemini Junior um, nice. or your MIDI. But what I would say is that depends on what your concept card is that you're cutting into. Got if you yeah. wanted to cut into, say, a box lid, because uh, you can do that, or a bigger piece of card um, and the snip the edges, then you'll need your A4 uh, formatted machine. That's good. It's handy when you can uh, do them in your smaller machines, isn't it? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, it's always good when you can fit them through there. So let's take those out. You can see here, you've got all these additional little hearts. So I would keep those, especially when you're cutting out of double-sided papers because you've then got your shaker elements if you wanted to make a shaker card out of anything. So we'll just pop those to the side. I'm going to keep them for later. So just pop them there and then take our die away. So those ones. These are kind of like, well, I was going to say kind of, they are. They're like an everyday continuation from the Christmas range that we'd done last year, aren't they? Yes, exactly like that, Craig. Because they were yeah. so popular. They were really popular, yes. And then all I'm going to do is just snip that down. So we're going to carry on rounding that round just like so. And then this one straight down just on the top there. And that takes that whole section away, which gives us that amazing card front. And then if we then pop that behind, you can then see it's all starting to take shape. But because it's all still quite just one colour, uh -huh. I thought, well, actually, let's try a little bit of snipping into the die. So I'm just going to take those sections out. We're just going to cut that again. I'm not worried about where that cuts on there. So, uh, we're, But we are going to just take that down, just one little piece and send that back through because what that's going to do actually we need to just do it that way what that's going to do is to uh, recut that out again i don't want the full image of it i just want to cut out the hearts and i found that with most of these dies they're really easy to cut that full shape out so if the, like the bow if you wanted to put that bow on a gift or a box mm -hmm. you could cut out that full image and it's really simple to do so if i just bring these round keep all the little white hearts as well because we will be using those let's pop those you can see all these little white ones like so and then with this one, so can you see, you just literally follow the lines around. So all you're going to do, and in fact, I'm going to get myself a dark piece of card, and then you can actually see how it then comes together. You'll be able to see that much better. And it is just a case of following around that line. It doesn't have to be perfect, Craig, because this isn't about perfect crafting. This is just about getting a really nice amount of... Uh, round the edge there. Now you can do both, so you can come down here and then round again. 
but you can see how easy it is it really and it really is doesn't have to look perfect so coming straight down let us know it's, it's Jan on the the socials for, for this show let us know so far I know many are saying that you'll be going for the full set when it launches tomorrow do you have a favorite I'll show you the boards again once Debbie's done her demonstration, but let us know in the social, maybe is it that ornate cross? Is it the love hearts? Is it the couple? What one is your favourite? That's the first one you're going to use when you get yours home. Yeah, definitely. So by cutting that out, Craig, now when we overlap that on the top, That's we've far. really brought that heart out, haven't we? So let's pop this together because we've done this really simple just to show you just one difference. I've also just matte and layered a tiny strip here that we can put at the side of our card and that just then ties in with what we've got on the inside. So we'll glue these ones together. I'm just using tape pen. You can use your wet glue or whatever glue suits your needs. And let's just pop that down into the centre. I'm trying to think which way round that goes. Remember, this is a two-hour show. However, technically, the first hour is our first look. And then myself and Debbie and Nicola and Jamie, we are going to be back in the second hour of this show for the first of three hours of the global warehouse clearance. So it's big. It's big. <laughs> it is. We've had to split it up. It's that big. It is huge uh, and amazing as well huge and amazing um, can, can i just give I, you a tease as to one of them oh was, you've been naughty yeah. so if you were i'm just because I've, I've taken my notes in that if you've been in the market for the mermaid dreams collection and if you are platinum actually the today's price of the mermaid dreams you'll find it on the website 35 pound or 50 dollars for the film Mermaid Dreams. If you're platinum, you're going to get it for £28 or $40. Wow. Mermaid Dreams. Sorry, D Debbie, I just wanted you to kind of have an idea. When we say the prices are crazy, really they're crazy. crazy. That's the first thing Craig came in this morning and said, have you seen the price <laughs> yeah, of did. Mermaid Dreams? <laughs> I did. <laughs> uh, and for me, I think it's good to then get a restock of that as well, because uh, especially the Mermaid Dreams, because the, I know when we start bringing out these collections, we're bringing dies and sort of stamps and embossing folders, but that didn't come with anything. So just to get all of that collection exactly. again for an amazing price is unbelievable. Uh, right, so with that heart um, with, that we've cut out, all I'm going to do is use my dot tape pen now we do have adhesive sheets on the website so if you wanted to cut it out of your adhesive sheets uh, might make it a bit easier and also you might want to use your uh, little tacky glue your precision bottle mm -hmm. um, if you want to have a little bit of wiggle room before you put it down over the top but I'm not gonna worry because we're just gonna place that over the top of this one so it's just a case of finding that where it goes it's going to fit perfectly because we've not cut any of the bit that's going around here so it will fit perfectly around there and then it's just a case of finding that spot to move it around a little bit up there but it doesn't again doesn't have to be perfect there we go and i'm going to actually turn that over and just burnish down on the back so I don't lift any of that up before it's been burnished down properly. You can see, look how fabulous that now looks. That's so and smart. And the other thing I then want to do, Craig, now I have used a few things from my um, floral creation. You know, I'm using it all the time. I just love it. Um, but I've also cut out some of that. So these hearts that have come out where you cut the heart, I've just put them through my sticker maker. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually place them back in, but they're going to go through on the other side. So it's just a case of putting them in here and just finding that heart. You don't want to stick it to the front. We want them to go through. Your little hearts may be a little bit more tricky and actually um, your tweezers would then uh, come in handy. That one doesn't want to go. Let me just do that one again. So pop that one back in. And it's just a case of popping these all back in and that's just going to give you this really nice illusion that the hearts are in the background mm -hmm. um, and it's just a nice way of paper piecing but also I, I didn't have loads of time to do paper piecing so I just wanted to show you how you can sort of do a variation of that if you wanted to put acetate behind here you could and then that would be actually I mean that would look nice paper piece back in there um, but I'm just using it to go around or inside, should I say, those hearts, 
just to keep opening so you can oh my God, see that's so where smart. they're going. That is so cool. <laughs> Just, uh, well, some things we don't think of sometimes, do we? We no, just we don't. Uh, do the sort of paper piecing, but don't think about where you're going to put the um, put them through to the inside. Oh, we've got one there that doesn't seem to want to go on the inside. So let's just pop that down, and then just a few more to put in there. I've made sure I put these all in order in my sticker maker, so I knew that exactly where they would go. It just saves a little bit of time when we're demoing live on air. Um, and then we've got that last one there. Just so while you're, sorry, Debbie. No, that's it was fine. Just while you were doing that, Christine's asking uh, the paper. Where was it that you got the background it's paper the from? It's the Ditsy Floral from the Christine. paper pad. So now we've got that really lovely inside with those hearts, but they're now on that side shining through. And then we're just going to, in fact, I'm going to grab my um, 3D glue gel and let's just use some of this to pop our flowers on. So. Let's pop a little bit here. I'm not going to put a lot on because I don't want to add too much. I just want to give a little tiny, in fact, I should have put that at the top. It would have worked better at the top. But as I've glued it on now, I'm not going to worry. We'll put our bunting at the top. Let's pop that there. And then we've got our bunting here, which we've put across the top. So just like so. This is another prime example, Debbie. Never be scared to use white. I know a lot of people are scared to use white and black. That's very true. Yeah, very but true. We'll the white. And we've got quite a few colours there, which is nice, but they're all blending in. And there we go. There's our really pretty first card with our Creator Card die.